All right, we are going to do some work with the product to sum and sum to product formulas for trig identities, and we are going to use them to find exact values. So let's start with this first one. It wants us to find the exact value of the expression cosine 67.5 degrees sine 22.5. And yes, we could plug that into our calculator and get an answer, but it wouldn't be the exact value of the expression. So we need to use angles that we do have an exact value for. <clears throat> so we're going to try and put this into um, product a product to some identity, which we have down here. When you have the si cosine of an angle times the sine of an angle, it's equal to 1 half sine first angle plus second angle minus sine first angle minus second angle. So that means this would be equal to 1 half of the sine of the two angles added together, so 67.5 plus 22.5, and then minus, is what it says, <clears throat> the sine of the two angles subtracted, so 67.5 minus 22.5, and when you're subtracting, that order does matter. Okay, well, let's simplify that, so that's 1 half times the sine of, when we add these two together, we get 90, so the sine of 90 minus the sine of, when we subtract the two numbers, we get 45. So hopefully you either have the exact values for those memorized or you have your chart that has the exact values for them. Okay, we're going to write those exact values down. The sine of 90 degrees is 1 minus the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. We need to simplify this, so we need to get a common denominator here. 1 needs to have a denominator of 2, so 1 would be equivalent to 2 over 2, right? 2 over 2 is equal to 1, but now we have a common denominator. So that would give us 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2. We just subtracted the numerators, kept our common denominator, and the last thing we have here is some multiplication. So 1 times the top just leaves us with 2 minus the square root of 2. And 2 times 2 on the bottom gives us 4. So there's the exact value of cosine 67.5 sine 22.5. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, here is another sum, or excuse me, product, sine 75 times the cosine of 15. And again, since it says it wants the exact value, we know we're probably going to have to use an identity to find our answer rather than just putting it in our calculator because that would not be exact. So we look and there is an identity for when you have the sine of an angle times the cosine of another. And it is one half sine of the angles added together plus the sine of the angles subtracted, the first minus the second. So that gives me one half of the sine of my two angles added, A plus B, so 75 plus 15, plus the sine of the two angles subtracted, so 75 minus 15. That gives me one half of the sine of 75 and 15 added together, again is 90. And then 75 minus 15 gives me 60. Okay, we want the exact value, so we're going to, again, either hopefully you have these memorized or you have your chart handy. Um, the sine of 90 degrees, again, is 1. The sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. We need to, again, get a common denominator and add here. So 1 is the same as 2 over 2. That would be 1 half of 2 plus the square root of 3, all over 2. And then we multiply. 1 times the numerator is just 2 plus the square root of 3. And in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. So the exact value of sine 75 cosine 15 is 2 plus the square root of 3, all over 4. Alright, let's try another here. So, 
we want the exact value of cosine 105 times sine 15. So we go to our identities, and when you have cosine of an angle times the sine of another, here's what we use. One half sine of the first plus the second minus sine of the first minus the second. So we put our values in there. That would be one half times the sine of 105 plus 15 minus the sine of 105 minus 15. Let's calculate that. Simplify it a little bit. That would be the sine of 120, which is one of our angles we know the exact value for. And the sine of 105 minus 15 gives us 90 again. So here we go. The sine of 120, again, we know the exact value of that is the square root of 3 over 2. It is in the second quadrant, but sine is positive in that quadrant. And the sine of 90 is 1. Again, we have to get a common denominator in the parentheses here to add these. 1 would be the fraction 2 over 2. Now that we have a common denominator, we go ahead and add, or excuse me, subtract, and we get root 3 minus 2 over 2. And then we go ahead and multiply. So we have root 3 minus 2 over 2 times 2 in the denominator gives me 4. So there is the exact value of cosine 105 times sine 15. All right, here's a combination we haven't worked with yet. Cosine times cosine. So we want the cosine of 195 times the cosine of 15. Again, we just use the formula they gave us for cosine times cosine. And it's 1 half the cosine of the two angles added plus the cosine of the two angles subtracted, or rather the first minus the second. Okay, So we have 1 half cosine of, my two angles are 195 and 15. So 195 plus 15, and then plus the cosine of 195 minus 15. Go ahead and simplify. So 195 plus 15 gives me 210 degrees, and 195 minus 15 gives me 180. Okay, let's find those exact values. So again, 210 is the 30 degree angle in the third quadrant. Cosine is negative there, um, and the cosine of that angle is negative root 3 over 2. Plus, the cosine of 180 is negative 1. So we have negative root 3 over 2 plus negative 1. Plus a negative is just plain old subtraction. Okay, so this plus a minus is just minus. I'm going to write 1 as 2 over 2 so that I have my common denominator and can add, do all my subtraction. So that gives me negative 1 half times negative root 3 minus 2 over 2. And we go ahead and multiply. That gives me negative root 3 minus 2 over 2 times 2, which is 4. Let me rewrite that. Okay. You may also see this answer, maybe they would factor a negative out in front of the fraction and call that root 3 plus 2. See that negative there? They may factor that out and write your answer that way instead um, with the negative in front of the entire fraction. So I would accept either answer. Let's do one last one, one, I, one we haven't seen yet, which is sine times sine. So here we want the sine of 75 times the sine of 15, and it does want the exact value. So we know we need to use our identity here. Um, our identity says that it's equal to negative, that's new, so negative 1 half cosine of the two angles added together. So in this case, our two angles are 75 and 15. Okay, and then minus the cosine of the two angles subtracted, so 75 minus 15. All right, so 75 plus 15 
gives me 90, so I'm doing one, negative 1 half of the cosine of 90 minus 75 minus 15 is 60, so minus the cosine of 60. That gives me negative 1 half. Cosine of 90 is 0 minus the cosine of 60. The cosine of 60 is 1 half. So I have negative 1 half. 0 minus a half is a negative 1 half, and I just need to multiply those. Well, negative times negative is going to give me a positive, and on top, 1 times 1 is 1, and the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. Again, it's positive 1 fourth because I had a negative times a negative. All right, so there are some examples of doing um, product to sum in order to find the exact values.